you you probably know how to make you know spider web and stuff. Yeah, we talked about this. Just find a web and then. Uh, but this seems not as much as a picture. It seems more. Is it a modeled one? No, no. This is oh, no. This is not a picture. No, this is geometry. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I would start with um, a circle and extrude it. Then just take a few segments and extrude them and combine it with another circle. And every circle is distorted with uh, maybe the proportional editing or something like that. Okay. Um, but let's do it. It's really, really quick and really painless. So you, you got the first one is correct. It's a, uh, it's a circle. Yeah. I would probably not use this many subdivisions though, so uh, make a circle, make it 16. Because spider webs don't usually have that many strands. So I extrude it into to the inside, right? Control R to subdivide it internally, like this. Mm -hmm. Select all space inset you know inset faces right um, it kind of scales uh, polygons by them or, or quads by themselves right yeah. so you can make metal plates with it and stuff yeah with, with diagonal lines in the corners and so I just do this and then I delete faces so I have the base, yes. right? And then, uh, you know, just remove all of this on the outside. And then pretty much the last trick is this. You uh, create a new vertex group. Pin it. Mm -hmm. And then you make it into a soft, not a soft body, into a cloth. And then you select web because it's a preset in uh, Blender. Okay. Right? So, depending on what you want to. Um, where you want to place that this uh, web, you can pin it to something and then let it fall onto it. I did it with um, the uh, mesh geometry here, so it just falls onto um, mm, yeah, yeah. the ground, pretty much. So it set this to collision. So this has a collision. Okay. Yeah. And this is very, very tricky, very genius. <laughs> I, I, I've um, I've came up with this because I needed a flag once and I needed the flag to be torn and then um, I started trying tearing it by hand but it didn't work very well so I then used cloth springs and somehow I also arrived at this shape and then I thought hey I could just do that with a bunch of circles um, I, I tend to put the structure a lot higher, like to something like six, so um, this doesn't deform as much. Mm -hmm. And then if um, this also looks very polygonal, so you know, at the end you put like a uh, subsurface on it and put it in front of the, um, uh, in the cloth mesh, uh, but with simple, so it, it just bends a lot more smoothly. So if I Take this again. This will take more time now, I think. Let's say this should be enough. You know, you you get a bit more uh, smoother bends and geometry, more more geometry in it, because you get more subdivisions. But yeah, this is a relatively simple and quick way to create web without using a uh, image texture.